So most golfers carry a three wood, but unfortunately have a love-hate relationship with it. But by the end of today's video, you're gonna love your fairway woods. So most golfers do struggle with three wood off the floor. I'm gonna show you why you struggle with three wood. I'm gonna show you most importantly, the technique you need to be able to hit your three wood well off the floor. But keep watching till the end, because even with perfect technique, three wood might not be the club, just might need five wood or seven wood. So with three wood in the bag, this is the shot that everybody thinks they're gonna hit. Really getting out there, little drawy one, in play. But if you're watching this, you know that's not what you do. This is more likely what you do with your three wood. And that one's literally finished 10 yards in front of the studio. And it's just not very exciting, is it? When you've got 250 yards to go, you've given it everything with three wood, and basically you've got another 20 of those to reach the green. So let's talk about the technique that you need to hit a good golf shot. Then I'm gonna show you why you get that wrong. And then most importantly, we're gonna show you how you get the technique right to rip that three wood, but then we'll move into five wood and seven wood and show you why three wood just might not be your friend. Right, so the first misconception most people make with fairway wood, whether it be three wood, five wood, or seven wood, is that they need to sweep the ball away. So we're gonna, we're gonna throw that idea away. Every shot when the golf ball's on the floor, we need the lowest point of our golf swing to be after the golf ball so that the club's traveling down into impact. We're presenting higher up the club face where there's a bit more loft. That's gonna give us good strike, good launch, and get the ball flying. Now, unfortunately, most golfers, because they're trying to sweep the ball in the air, what they will do is as they come down, they will hang back, get that low point behind the golf ball, and they'll either fat it, hit the ground behind, or they'll miss the ground and the club will work up into the ball. So the first thing you need to understand is, obviously three wood is your least lofted fairway wood. So most golfers don't trust the loft. What I'm gonna ask you to do is trust me that we're gonna get you delivering the club well and we're gonna see what loft you present, because hopefully you're working through this with me. So what we're gonna do is from our address position, we're gonna have that ball slightly forward of center, but I want you to feel like you've got a little bit more weight on that lead leg. You're gonna swing back and feel that the weight doesn't move massively. So you're gonna get that trail hip to turn behind and then very much like with your iron shots, you're gonna push down into that lead foot. That's gonna get that low point ahead and that's gonna get that ball and then turf contact so let's set up let's hit a couple of shots with that get some feedback from trackman and show you how delivering the club better gives us more of that first shot that i hit so we're going to set up that little bit of weight into that lead foot and then off we go just pulled that one a little bit but we can see low point, 1.1 inches after the golf ball. So the club's moved down 1.6 degrees. I've launched at 8.7 degrees. Spin at 3,300, but carry 235, 256 total. So even though my accuracy was a little bit off there, it was still a good strike and a good distance. So because I'm drawing it a little bit more today, I'm gonna to aim just right, not right enough that the camera's in danger, but down that right hand side, a little bit more weight onto that left foot to begin with, and then off we go. And again, felt great. Low point again, 2.4 inches ahead. Nice club head speed at 101 mile an hour. And again, very consistent numbers at 236 carry and 255. So if you can work on those little adjustments, so weight forward, 
don't let your weight move a lot onto that back foot. Stay a bit more centered and drive into that lead leg. Like I said, it's gonna be much more like an iron shot. And off the back of that, that's gonna help you strike your three wood well. Now, a lot of you guys watching might not swing it quite as quickly as me. So I'm gonna keep the technique as we've discussed, but I'm gonna swing a little bit slower, show you the distance three wood goes, but then I'm gonna show you with the optimizer on Trackman why actually the equipment itself might make it tough. So I'm gonna do everything very much the same, but just take the speed out of the swing. And I know what you're thinking. You should swing at that speed all the time if you can hit it that straight. But we can see there, I've still launched at nine degrees. My low point was ahead but I've only carried three wood 138 yards. Now let's have a quick look at optimizer and show you at that speed, really how far I should be carrying three wood and why, even if your technique's good, you might have to get rid of that club. Okay, so when we look at optimizer here, and this is on low trajectory, which I'm not normally, but we can see for the club head speed of 77 mile an hour, I should be launching the ball around 12 degrees, spinning at three and a half thousand and getting 50 feet in the air. But we can see I'm nowhere near that. I'm at nine degree launch, 2,100 spin and 23 feet peak height. So that just shows that the three wood actually doesn't present enough loft for me to maximize my distance. Right, so that might be nice to know that your technique is perfect and it's the club's fault. Yeah, loads of golfers blame the club when it's actually the user, but it could be that you're not using enough loft. And I actually had a, a golfer in this morning for a lesson and we were looking at the top end of the bag and he's got a three wood in the bag and he just really struggles with it. And as soon as we went into five wood and seven wood particularly, we saw a massive change. So I'm gonna try and keep my club head speed round about that 77 mile an hour. I'm now gonna go five wood, which instead of 14 and a half degrees, has got 17 and a half. I'm gonna keep the technique the same, same club head speed. Hopefully, we're gonna see this launch a bit higher, have a little bit more backspin to keep the ball in the air, and therefore hit the ball further. So exactly the same technique with five wood. Again, fairly accurate. I've been a little quicker there at 86 and a half mile an hour. So I'm going to do another one, but we can see there it launched higher, spun more and went further. I'm going to apologize that I wasn't able to produce 77 mile an hour straight away, but five wood again, let's try and go a little slower. Again, nice and accurate, still 84 mile an hour. All this speed training's killing me. But we can see there, launching at 10 degrees, spinning at nearly 4,000, 175 carry and 197 total. Now, if we pop onto optimizer there, we can see we're not still quite at our optimum for that speed, but the launch angle's a little bit closer to where we need. The ball definitely spun more because of more loft, got more height, therefore 51 feet peak height. So my carry distance was only actually four yards back of what I needed to be. Now that moves me into potentially my new favorite club for this year, the seven wood. Now I did a video a couple of months ago about, am I getting old because I'm putting a seven wood in? It's actually gonna be the card up there that you can watch it. But I'm gonna make the same technique Try and keep that speed, I'll say around 80, and we're gonna see with the extra loft of seven wood, do I get even more benefit in launch and spin? But it is difficult because most golfers, they don't like that it says seven on the bottom, but you need to put ego to one side, find what works so that you can rip those fairway woods. So seven wood now, weight on that left side, make that swing, there it is, getting a little bit quicker, just can't help myself, but 88 mile an hour club head speed, 
2.6 inches ahead, three degrees down, 4,400 spin, but 190 carry. Right, let's go one more with the seven wood. I mean, to be fair, I could stand here all day eating seven wood, I love it. Let's go and try and get, just take a little bit of speed out again. Again, great strike. Happy days, I took two mile an hour out of that one. But the club's traveling down. More launch angle, more spin. Let's have a look now at the optimizer. I'll look at both of those shots to show you the difference, but we'll see then how optimal seven wood just might be for you. So we see that first one there, everything lined up pretty much in the blue. I know angle of attack was a little bit out, but we see optimal carry was 188. Actually carried it 190 because I launched it higher spun it perfectly and hit it 79 feet off the floor. Now that second one that hit with seven wood, lots of things good again, but just spun a little bit more, which was a little unusual. But again, we can see 175 carry, no comparison between that and the three wood. And again, incredibly close to maximizing my distance with my fairway wood. Right then, so you can see probably most of you that struggle with three wood, it's actually a little bit of technique to begin with. But once you get that technique right, if you don't swing as quickly as me, which is why I did those swings a bit slower to possibly be a bit more reflective on the average golfer, even when my technique was great, three wood didn't actually perform. So are you going to, comment below and let me know, let Ego take a back seat and get rid of that three wood. If you are, it might be a case that you might need a new five wood or seven wood. You might already have a five wood or seven wood and then making sure that techniques bang on now means you're going to start ripping these from the fairway and hitting your fairway woods better than ever, just as we promised at the start of the video. Right guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like it and share it, comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. If you enjoyed the content and you don't currently subscribe, I'd love you just to take a second, click the button below, ring the notification bell, and then you'll fan out whenever I drop a new video. Now there's a video just there that I think you'll enjoy, help you with your golf. Click on it, watch it, hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.